Utah Governor Spencer Cox is weighing in on the controversy surrounding Operation Underground Railroad founder Tim Ballard. And what we do know, Ballard is under scrutiny over his time leading the anti-trafficking organization. He also received a rare public rebuke from his own church. Daniel Woodruff is live at the Capitol. And Daniel, what did the governor say about all of this? Well, Governor Spencer Cox says he doesn't know Tim Ballard well. He only met him once, but that he's deeply troubled by these allegations against him, specifically that Ballard was accused by seven women of sexual misconduct before he left Operation Underground Railroad. The allegations, though, uh, of several different women are, are incredibly disturbing and, and just awful. And, and if true, uh, just uh, unconscionable. Vice News has reported extensively on Tim Ballard, who is the subject of the movie Sound of Freedom and is rumored to be considering a run for the U.S. Senate here in Utah. Ballard has denied the allegations of sexual misconduct. He's also claimed that evil people are working to oppose his anti-trafficking work. But last week, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, of which Ballard is a member, issued a statement rebuking him for using the name of a high-ranking church leader to further his conduct that the church called, quote, morally unacceptable. I know there was a lot of pushback, like, did this really come from the church? Did it come from a rogue spokesperson? Uh, I, I reached out to the church personally uh, and, uh, and, and was assured that that did come from the church, that it had been vetted through all the normal church processes. Now, Tim Ballard insists he's a member of the church in good standing. Meanwhile, Operation Underground Railroad has said that Tim Ballard is no longer affiliated with them in any way as of earlier this summer and that they do not tolerate sexual harassment or discrimination. Live at the Capitol, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.